A new River Raid title update is just around the corner where we'll be picking up several new weapons, a brand new armor set, and three new rivers to raid in different countries. And I'll also be discussing why I think the River Raids are getting a little bit of a revamp in terms of gameplay from what they are in their current format. Big thanks to Pedder who's found all of this info in the game files. You all know it's subject to change, but I'm gonna walk you through why I think it's all pretty solid. So lots of fun stuff to talk about and let's get going. So first up, if you weren't aware, this River Raid game mode is gonna be completely free if you actually own the standard Valhalla game. So you won't actually need to own the Wrath of Jurors or the Siege of Paris to actually play this at all. But when it comes to an actual release date, on their recent Sigablot season roadmap, it's been flagged for summer 2021. And summer officially ends on September 22nd, meaning we should get it very soon. In fact, Jewel Raptor recently had a chinwag with Jose, one of Valhalla's post-launch producers, who did confirm that the River Raids will be our next update. And with game size PlayStation on Twitter recently mentioning that a big update was preloaded to the PlayStation files, it kind of looks like this is coming next week, specifically Tuesday the 31st of August, which also ticks that box for their five week release schedule. To be fair, I'm hoping this River Raid update is pretty robust and bug free. I honestly wouldn't mind if they were going to sling this back a few weeks, as Jose also said that the quality is their priority for them. So big fingers crossed on that front. And by the way, it's another great video from Dennis and Joyce while your is away on holiday. So on the off chance that you haven't actually watched the video yet, I've popped the link down below. Definitely check it out. With that being said, though, it does seem that we're going to be picking up three brand new rivers in this update, the River Erif and the River Berber in Ireland, also known as the River Barrow. And I think this is pretty much set in stone as River Raids in Ireland were teased in the Ubisoft recap trailer a month ago, as well as the Sigablot trailer a few weeks ago as well. But I tell you what wasn't shown or mentioned, and that was the River Rhine in Frankia, which has also been named repeatedly in the game files. We've got some more good news on that front, though, because Jose also confirmed in the same interview with Yor that we will indeed be picking up a Frankia River Raid in this coming update. So Pedder and his crystal ball has done it again, folks. Firm handshakes all round. To be honest, though, it does make a lot of sense for them to include the River Rhine in this update, especially after the recent release of the Siege of Paris DLC, as this free game mode can kind of act as a bit of an environmental showcase for players who don't actually own the Wrath of Druids or the Siege of Paris. And I think the River Raids is going to be a great way for Ubisoft to try and tempt people to purchase the season pass by experiencing new enemies, environments, and obtaining new rewards. Now, if you played the previous River Raid update, I imagine you're probably um in and are in about whether to actually play this update, mainly because after you did complete the previous River Raids, there really wasn't anything to go back to at all. In truth, I haven't actually gone back to do any River Raids unless you count the Ziggoblock Festival quest, purely because there really isn't any incentive to do so. But the format of the River Raids does seem to be changing somewhat if the game data is anything to go by, as Pedder has actually found a new mechanic in these River Raids, which requires us to max out the River alert level by repeatedly completing raids on one single river to then encourage more challenging enemies to suddenly appear who are actually named as champions of faith in the game files. We did discuss this a few months ago in a previous video but it does seem that this is also being changed up a little bit and the difference being is we first have to kill the captains on each of the rivers before we can engage the big boss the champion of faith and after we defeat and kill these captains we'll then be able to kill the champion of faith and pick up some tasty rewards. Now for a bit of context the champions of faith in the game files are named as being the ultimate holy warrior who's pledged their lives to defend the lands from the Vikings. But when it comes to the captains, it is hard to say at the moment if they do actually drop any loot at all. But I can say with almost certainty that the champions of faith will drop some weapons and I'm going to talk about each weapon in this video shortly. But if we look at all of this info so far and instead of just kind of rocking up, we're going to have to actually get the river to a high level of alertness through consistent raiding enough to kind of get the attention of the local captain. And after after we've done that and then killed the captain, we'll then be able to fight one of the three champions of faith who will then appear at the river, and they are the big bosses of the one of three countries. In fact, they're actually referenced in the game files as being Ireland's protector, Frankie's defender, and England's protector, which means we'll also be re-raiding the River 7 and D in England. Now, if indeed this is our new river raid game mode, I wouldn't necessarily say they fall into that replayable aspect that Ubisoft are hunting for. I mean, technically they do, right but the same clue hunt and the same raid grind still features here it just seems that the game mode has been somewhat extended with extra enemies that only pop after you've kind of grinded the rivers enough but saying that ped has also found reference to two captains in one of the rivers and it's not specified which one so perhaps we're going to need to kill two captains instead of the standard one to bring out a certain champion maybe that champion is harder than the other two or perhaps that champion just drops a more exclusive weapon we're just going to have to wait and see and by the way, folks, if you found this video interesting so 
so far, a quick like down below only takes a moment of your time and it is a great way to show your support and it does really help me out a ton. So thank you very much. Now moving on to some weapons and rewards from these river raids and looking at the game data so far, it does look like the raids are getting a little bit of a mix up and I think that's a pretty good thing. But what do we actually get for all of our troubles here? Well, first up, we get Lou's armor and we've talked about this over the last several months and Lou's actually one of the gods of the Tuar to Danon, suspected to be the Celtic Isu and we'd actually thought we were going to pick this up in Ireland. Alas, it, it wasn't the case, but I think this armor set has actually already been teased by Ubisoft in their recent art release. It shows Eivor fighting druids in Ireland with Yom's Vikings and it also, quite visually, doesn't look like anything else I recognize that we have in the game right now. But saying that, you know, I'm pretty woeful when it comes to identifying reskins and I know you lot are decent, so can you actually see anything here? Is there anything at all that actually looks like a reskin or if it's been borrowed from various different armor sets and just well hidden? Let us all know down below in the comments if you do see something, but to actually get hold of Lou's armor set, we'll need to speak to Vaughn to start the quest line, who's then going to direct us to Ireland, where we essentially follow all the clues until we find all of the pieces of the armor set. Now, after we collect them all, it looks like a champion of faith in the River Aerith will appear, and he's going to drop Lou's famous spear. But after we finish with Ireland, it looks like we'll be picking up more clues that will redirect us to new champions, which are based in England and Francia. And when we do follow those clues to England, it does look like that when we do kill the champion, we may obtain Gareth's Holy Sword, as it's named in the game files. And I think this would fall quite nicely in line with the previous reward we got from the River Raids champion, which was another Holy Sword, and that was called St. George's Holy Sword. And I reckon we do grab this new one from England's Champion of Faith. Now, thirdly, we also have an Ulfbert one-handed sword mentioned here as being forged in the Rhineland and prized for centuries to come. It's also named in association with the Champion of Faith in Francia as being armed with a sword of legend. So I kind of suspect that being the Ulfbert sword. And additionally, I did mention this in the Discovery Tour video, but Ubisoft accidentally released a full image of all of their swords on Twitter. I think they initially released one where it was kind of blanked out, but accidentally uploaded this one. It's since been taken down, but there is one one-handed sword here, which I don't think they were supposed to show, and it's another Ulfbert sword, so I think we pick this up here in the Frankia River Raid. But Pedder also thinks that we may be picking up additional weapons or rewards from the captains, and if you remember, he also found Rolo's Lost Axe a few months ago, and even though Rolo didn't actually feature in Frankia at all, even though he did state in the main quest line in England that he was actually going to head across there, I think this axe could potentially tie up a few story threads here. He also found the Celtic Crusher named in the game files months ago as well, and I think this all adds up to be honest with you, because I think we're going to pick up an Ulfbert sword and Rolo's axe in Frankia. We'll then be able to pick up a new Holy Sword in England, and then when we do travel to the Emerald Isle, we'll be able to pick up the Celtic Crusher weapon alongside Lou's spear. And to be honest with you, if all of these weapons do actually appear in this next free update, I think that's that's a pretty decent haul, all things considered, but you know how these things go, we're just going to have to wait and see. Additionally though, there's also a picture of a new ship scheme on the post-launch art, so I reckon this is just going to be your standard new ship purchase at Vaughn, when we actually collect our raid supplies from the rivers and then spend them. In fact, Ped has actually also found the thumbnails of each part of the ship design, so I think that's another given there. I'll tell you what though, if you have watched the video up until this point, first up, I hope you've enjoyed it, but secondly, do drop by and say hi in our awesome Discord community. There's nearly 500 of us here who absolutely love talking about Assassin's Creed, other games and everything else in between so it would be great to see you in the lobby and I think that'll do it for me on this one folks. Big thanks to Pedder again for all of his hard work and as usual coffee's on me.